everyone, welcome to another episode of City Astrology. My name is Daniel Mercurio and I'm here to give your 2014 for August forecast. Now for those of you that are new to City Astrology, it is my cosmic mashup of astrology, tarot card readings, cosmic guidance, and planetary influence. We're going to get right to it. So to recap uh, July, we moved into the season of Leo and with that brought the planet of Jupiter is all about luck and expansion. Now the great thing about that is, is that it brought lots of new good opportunities for growth into your life. And I thought that it was going to be a great space for people to feel really light, relieved, excited. But what I found was that a lot of people actually got really nervous or uncomfortable. And I have noticed that what happens is when we get into something new, when we are in a space where we're clearing out a lot of things, we're bringing in new opportunities for growth, it's scary. We don't know what to do, right? It's, it's unknown territory. And so a lot of people tensed up or got impatient or felt directionless um, and wanted to just kind of almost close off, be like, I'm done. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was really scary. And then other people kind of took the opposite end where they felt like since they didn't know what they were doing, they were going to try to pretend and become overly confident and that didn't really work very well either. It just turned out that people were kind of aggressive or just came off as arrogant, and, and that wasn't so funny either. So I hope that now that July is over and we've kind of gotten used to this new space and given us ourselves, given ourselves time to adjust, we're feeling a little bit more open, a little bit more ready for the new month of August. And August's theme is just that, rebirth. It's all about new cycles new opportunities for growth, okay? This is your time to recycle who you are and really be who you want to be. The theme is all about bringing out your inner child, okay? So thinking about where can you be more creative in your life? What areas would make you more happy? Uh, I'd love for you to make a list, you know, this is what would make me most happy right now and, and really channel it to you. This is all about self-reflection. Another ruling theme of August is the heart chakra. So I want you to use the heart chakra to channel into your desires. When you're feeling scared or feeling stuck, think about what your heart wants. Think about what that inner child inside of you really needs. And this is the time to really create that and set it forward. Another thing that's happening in August is uh, the planet of Mars is influenced by Scorpio. So what's happening is you're having a lot of energy around goals and taking action. This is a great time to think about the things that you want um, from a deep, true sense. And then think about how you want to just drive them home. This is your time to really take your goals and have them lift off, okay? And then as we move through the month, eventually we're going to move out of Leo and into Virgo. That's going to start on August 23rd. And then the new moon in Virgo will be August 25th. Now Virgo is a little bit more tame than Leo. It's a little bit more grounded, okay? So this is the time to take all the goals that you've thought about, all the things that you really are just ready to take forth, and then take a step back. You want to see where you can refine what it is that you're working on. Um, maybe you want to prioritize what you want to work on the most. Maybe you want to look at what's most reasonable for you, how you can manage what's going on in your everyday life with the new things that you want to implement. Um, like I said, Virgo is really just about practicality, planning, uh, setting yourself up for a really successful future ahead. That being said, Virgo is also all about higher education, which makes sense, uh, you know, right around the corner is back to school. So this might be a time where you want to look into taking a class yourself, and it could be in the scholar sense, going back to school, it could be a cooking class, it could be trying out a new uh, class at the gym, just something new that you think will better for you, benefit yourself, um, or something that maybe you've been wanting to try for a while, this is the time to really have that motivation. All right, so this is August. August, again, like I said, it's all about rebirth. It's all about you. It's all about expressing who you want to be, how you want to show yourself to the world, and not being afraid to do it. All right? I want you to remember that this is a time that you deserve what you want. You are allowed to have it. Having what we want is our birthright, okay? It is not something that, you know, we have to work for or hit a certain milestone before we can have it times now. So I really encourage you to brace August. I know it might feel scary to try something new or tap into something that just you've never done before. And know that you are always supported. You are never alone. And 
the universe wants good things for you. So here is to an amazing August. Here is to a recycle, rebirth, and an emergence of a new you. Okay? So keep me posted on how it goes. Comment below. Let me know how you're doing. If you have any questions, you want to know more about what's going on with the planets and the moons and all that fun stuff, let me know and I'll talk to you about it because it's super fun. It's super um, amazing the sense of the way to encourage you to be your best self and really boost your awareness of what's going on. All right, so I will see you in September. In the meantime, check me out on my website, newucitycoaching.com. Bye, guys.